Well, I'm delighted to say Kerry joins us now. Thank you so much. It's been a real hit, this, hasn't it? What do you think it is about the show, Kerry, that really resonates with people? Um, God, it's, it's amazing how much it's connected with people. I guess it's the fact that it's something, it's a shared experience that we all either have been through or will go through. Yeah, that is true enough, Kerry. And, and I guess it gets me every time when I see the clips of you. You know, I mean, it really is heartbreaking. Yeah, there, there, there are tears, yeah. but there also, there's also laughter in the same programme. What did you think when yeah. you read the script? Uh, I just was really moved by it. I just thought there was a real honesty. There's a rawness to it. And, the, it, it, and as you say, he juxtaposes that real tragedy and drama with you know, comedy, like classic comedy, and it's all sitting next to each other, just like real life. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't know whether to laugh or cry, I think, do you? I mean, what was it like on set filming it? Did you realise it was going to be something special? Uh, yeah, I think of a, Well, yeah, I did, because everything Ricky does um, does connect with people. You know, he does have that uh, power and voice to do that. And But I didn't quite anticipate how much um and also you know the timing of i mean season two came out in, in in the pandemic so i think a lot of people have been going through a lot of stuff that this show relates to as well so that, that we couldn't have foreseen when we started making it you're so right and i wonder whether it does resonate so much more because you, grief can be quite frightening and yet lots of people yeah. are experiencing it at the moment aren't they yeah, absolutely. And I think what the show is demonstrating is that grief is overwhelming and it is upset. You know, it's, it's the hardest thing most of us will have to go through. Um, but what Tony and Ricky is, you know, showing is that community and a sense of purpose and connection is what helps us to get through these times. Can you give us any clues, Kerry, about what we might see this season? It's the final one, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, there aren't any spoilers. I can't give you any spoilers. I'm still dead. Uh, but... <laughs> yeah, that would have been something, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, that would be a completely different show. We'd be going into sci-fi then. Mm. But it was... It, I mean, it's not kind of a plot... It's not a plotty show. I never think of this show as like, oh, my God, what's going to... You know, it's a reflection and it's a sort of meditation or it, it's you you spend more time with Tony as he goes through his grief. I mean, there are seven stages of grief and, you know, we're seeing him move through it. I don't think he recovers. He doesn't just snap out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's... This isn't how it works. Yeah, I think that's the, a real important thing as well about the series is that it shows how up and down and back and forth and all the mixed emotions that can come yeah, with something like bereavement. Absolutely, and you don't necessarily get closure. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Now, before we go, um, you did mention the pandemic and we know that you are back on tour, presumably. You couldn't go anywhere for quite some time. What's that no. going to be like? No, uh, absolutely, yeah. So I, I wrote the show quite a while ago and I was four shows into the tour when the lockdown happened so it all went on hold and then we did some more dates uh, I did a few last autumn and then we've got some more coming up and I've got a London show in February so yeah so this this uh this show has had a long life longer than I foresaw <laughs> well good luck to you thanks so much for coming on to talk about afterlife oh, thanks for and, uh, thank you yeah Mary. enjoy being back in front of a live audience um poof that would be you. different, won't it? Oh, it's just such a joy to get back out there.